The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney at O'Flaherty Law. My practice areas include business transactional matters as well as some landlord, tenant, and family law issues. Now, today we're going to talk about Iowa rental deposit laws and regulations. A majority of residential lease and rental agreements in Iowa require some form of a security deposit. This is a fee up front that is intended to act as a pot of money used at the end of the lease to cover any damage, uh, damages to the unit above and beyond normal wear and tear. This provides certainty to the landlord that the tenant will not destroy the unit during the lease. What we're going to cover is how much under Iowa law a landlord can charge as a security deposit and what all can be deducted from it. Now, does Iowa law limit the amount a landlord can charge a tenant for a security deposit? The answer is yes. Under Iowa law, landlords may only charge tenants the equivalent of two months rent as a security deposit. This is in addition to payment of the first month's rent, which is required prior to moving in. So if your rent is $1,000 a month, for example, in Iowa, your landlord can charge you $3,000 up front. That is $1,000 for the first month's rent plus a $2,000 security deposit. It's important to note that this, this is the legal maximum that a landlord can charge. This is not the typical amount landlords often do charge in Iowa. Now, what is the deadline in Iowa for returning a security deposit? Under Iowa law, landlords must return the tenant's security deposit within 30 days after the tenant surrenders or gives back the rental property to the landlord. This means that they have to vacate the property and return the keys to the landlord. Now, what can a landlord deduct from the security deposit? Ordinary wear and tear is not deductible. Some examples include fading curtains, minor marks, dirt, spotting, small tack holes, uh, wearing on flooring, carpet, faded paint, um, some worn seals on windows or doors. Landlords can deduct uh, or charge a client for broken flooring, doors and windows that are off their hinges, rips and tears in the carpet, water damage caused by the tenant's actions, missing blinds, um, cigarette burns in the carpet, or a broken uh, shelving uh, unit. All of these things, more or less, have to be caused by the tenant. They cannot be done simply over time from the wear or the aging of something in the house. Now, how do you safeguard your, de uh, your security deposit from being deducted if you're a tenant? The key to a tenant protecting their security deposit is to keep records. Many times your landlord will give you a checklist to fill out and return uh, when you move in. It's very important to look through your unit thoroughly and write down every minor imperfection with the unit. Should the landlord not provide a sheet, uh, it may be beneficial to fill out one yourself accompanied with time-stamped photographs and send all of the information to the landlord prior to or immediately after moving in. Be sure to keep a copy of these records for yourself. If you do have a checklist, either provided by the landlord or one you created, you will then be able to compare any changes or any charges your landlord may have following your rental or lease term. If you have photo evidence or written evidence showing the condition was there prior to you moving in, the landlord will not be able to charge you for it and deduct it from your security deposit. If you have any questions regarding security deposits or deductions, feel free to reach out to our firm. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. 
Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.